progress is great. I mean, we've uh, recently met a major milestone date where we were able to turn over piers PN5, 6, 7, and 8 to the DOT and a future contractor on contract B for their work. Our foundation work wrapped up late winter of last year and we've really made some good progress with our footing, column, and capital work here this year. We've got Pier PN3. It's the last capital we have the pour on the job. Large capital, ultimately there's going to be 23 bridge girders that rest there. Large pour, 375 yards with about 600 feet of uh, PT duct work that really weaves its way up and down throughout the rebar. Recently, back in February of this year, we've also began setting the, uh, the bridge deal. We've got about 83 of 151 girders set to date, and that operation's been going very well for us. We've got two Manitowoc 4100s to do the lifting, great engineered erection plan. Some of our engineered picks get up around 95% capacity, so it's big, good work. Just recently, our steel erection crew, our team members, we finished set and steel out on the ramp eye structure, which really is a good piece of work for us. It opens up a lot of the concrete deck work and a lot of the parapet work that we have for the rest of this year. The morale is great. Walking around the job site, you can really tell that the guys, the team members, they really have a sense of ownership and they take pride in the work they do. And as an engineer with the company, as a manager, it's great to walk into these DOT meetings that we have, our progress design meetings, schedule meetings, and it's great to hear the owner recognize that and tell us that they really appreciate the work we're doing for them. So it's good. And anytime you're doing visual work, you're up out of the ground, and you start setting bridge steel, it gives the guys a good feeling of accomplishment. We've been busy working at night, trying to get over the local road here, East Street, Water Street, and then US 1. Uh, we're setting steel over East Street right now. We've got deck pan work going on on the ramp by structure to get over East Street. And then also we're gonna have our, uh, our final positive moment pour on the first half of ramp by, which is span PI2, 200 foot span, and that's over Water Street as well. So we'll be doing that work at night just to uh, avoid the local traffic. We've had quite a few obstacles. I mean, schedule is always one. The work here is very accelerated, especially last year, but even this year, turn these pier caps over to, uh, we've got all these interim milestone dates and turning these pier caps over to the next contractor in the DOT. It's been very accelerated. Team members have been working long days. We've been working Saturdays on an as-needed basis, just doubling up efforts, borrowing team members from other crews, that kind of thing. Uh, rest of the year, like I just said, we just met a major milestone date in turning over piers PN5 and the other piers towards the river here for the main span work. We had just completed set and steel on ramp I, which opens up a large portion of our deck and parapet work. The rest of this year is really going to be focusing on finishing the bridge deal. We're about 60% complete today. We want to finish that probably early October. We've got about 22 deck pours to place this year. We've poured four to date. Uh, we've got three integral cap pours to pour out on the ramp I structure. And then ultimately, in about a month or so, we want to start touch-up painting. We want to start getting a good jump on our parapet work here, just to set us up well for next year. Over the winter, we're going to have the steel set, so we're going to really focus on getting the deck pan work complete and getting a lot of the bar laid out so that we can come back here when the weather's optimal and really get a good jump on pouring out these decks. Next year is going to be a lot of deck placement, a lot of parapet work, and I'd say we're in great shape to meet our September 2011 completion day.